Okay, to get started, I have a background image of this woman, as well as a text layer and a peach emoji layer positioned over the parts of the woman I'd like to put them behind. Now, let's begin by right clicking the background layer and selecting duplicate layer. Drag the duplicated layer so that it's on top of your other images. Then select the quick selection tool or the selection tool of your choice from the toolbar and drag to select the object from the background you'd like to put your other objects behind. You don't have to select the entire object, just the parts that the text will be behind, but it's okay if you do more. If you make mistakes with the quick selection tool, just hold down the alt key on your keyboard while dragging it to subtract from your selection. Okay, once you're satisfied with your selection, go up to layer, layer mask, reveal selection. I think this looks okay, but we should touch it up by double clicking the black and white layer mask that was just automatically added to your duplicated background. In this panel, the first thing you might wanna do is increase the radius. This will broaden the overall selection and get rid of many of the jagged edges. I think this looks acceptable, but you may wanna increase the smoothing or feathering a tiny bit to get rid of any remaining jaggies. Once you're finished, just hit okay. And there I have this eye-catching thumbnail that I could add some text to to make it look more complete. But that's all for me, so thanks for watching and see you guys next time.